paper, and he was telling me that their own cost to run that simulation with 25 agents was in the order of hundreds to low thousands dollars a day. And the simulation was not even real time. It was slower than real time. So to simulate a day would take them more than one day. And so my thoughts around that time were, this feels like the future, feels like five years from now, games are going to have these kind of features, or at the very least, game developers will have this in their tool set, figure out how to use it. But with these costs and this impracticality, that sounds like a very far-fetched future. Right. But at the same time, the kind of things that I was working on, in particular, use of fine-tuning as a technique for getting smaller models to be, become better and be fundamentally performant than what they should be given their size was in my mind one of the mechanisms that could actually bridge the gap in terms of how intelligent in quotes an agent needs to be able to be useful within a game and what a big model to do that do you need and as a consequence how expensive of an hardware do you need to run it right um, and so that was one of the motivations for me to focus on the local models and fine tuning as a techniques to try to achieve that. One of the things is when I started, I also thought, oh, from a from the way the games, the gaming industry works, having this marginal cost to play seems very detrimental to having the games be good business. 